Hey guys, in this short video, I'm very glad to share with you how to install Spring Tools 4 or Spring Tools 3 SDS into an existing Eclipse IDE. You know, SDS is a Java IDE that is tailored for developing a Spring based enterprise application. So if you have an existing Eclipse IDE, you don't have to install a new SDS IDE and it's uh, very quick and easy. You see, this is Eclipse IDE on my computer. I want to develop a Spring based enterprise application using a dedicated IDE like Spring to Suite IDE, but I don't want to install a new IDE. So I can uh, go to Menu Hub, uh, Eclipse Marketplace here. Because uh, Spring to Suite IDE is an Eclipse by IDE, so it's very quick and easy to install the extension for SDS into an, ex an existing Eclipse IDE. So you need to search for um, Spring to for here, and you can see the first result: Spring to for. Aka Spring to Suite version uh, 4.7.1.1 release here. That's it. Exactly the Spring to uh, for Click install. And click uh, confirm. And check the option. I accept the terms of the license agreements and click finish. And uh, it is installing the software required for uh, developing a Spring based enterprise application right inside Eclipse IDE. You can see it may take a uh, few minutes to complete. And after that, after the installation of the Spring Tools uh, finished, uh, you need to restart the IDE. So click Restart now. Here we go. Eclipse has uh, restarted and let's check its support for uh, Spring based enterprise application development. Uh, go to the menu file new as a and you can see the options for creating a spring boot project here spring boot spring, spring starter project here next and you see yeah, the option to create a new spring starter project for developing a Spring Boot application, uh, very convenient. Now uh, I will open uh, another workspace that contains uh, some existing Spring Boot projects, so you can uh, see how it is uh, supporting the uh, Spring-based enterprise application development. So I choose the workspace for um, my existing Spring Boot project here. Launch. You see, uh, the workspace is open with some uh, projects here, Spring Boot projects. You can see the boot dashboard. Uh, that allows us to manage you know, running uh, Spring Boot applications here to start stop Spring Boot application. Right click on the project and you can see the context menu for Spring Edit the status for this project. And you see it shows the 
currently status used in this project here you see so it is actually uh, uh, Spring Tools VIDE uh, have uh, has installed right inside Eclipse ID very quick and easy now let me use uh, a boot dashboard here to start a Spring Boot application start so if you have an existing Eclipse ID you can choose to install the Spring Tools for right inside the ID and Eclipse uh, we Include support for developing a Spring based enterprise applications. Okay, the application is up and running, and I can open the browser to test it. Yeah, so I go to localhost, localhost 8080. So, me admin is a context part of the application. You see. The application is up and running. Now I log in. You see, I have uh, logged in uh, successfully. Awesome, right? And now I stop uh, the Spring Boot application. Stop. And uh, refresh the browser. You see. We got an error that this site can be reached because it has been stopped in the IDE. So that I have said with you how to install Spring Tools for into Eclipse. It's very simple and easy. In Eclipse, you go to the menu app, Eclipse Marketplace, and search for Spring Tools for, and click install, and then restart the IDE. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe like comment and share to help me grow this uh, channel thank you